Welcome to the Indian Newslink podcast series Coffee with Kamil by Kamil Lakshman. Have you ever thought why you do what you do and why you do it in a particular way? Why do you respond in a particular way? Well, if we go back and look at our life, we will see that um we have been conditioned in a particular way and most times we don't realize that we just think it is that it is it but if you were to go back and reflect you'd see that as you were growing up as a baby you were taught certain things in school as a child you were taught certain things and then in high school those ideas became became more firm and you started having more concrete opinions about things it 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 became you that's how you were but imagine if you didn't have those conditionings imagine if you weren't born in a particular family and born in a different family with a different religious belief with a different background with a different economic setup how would you be it would be completely different so if that's the case then we're not really ourselves we're not the real mccoy the original uh identity where we had the freedom to be whatever we'd liked to be without those influences but the reality is that's how it is for everybody we are all conditioned beings but we think that that's how it is it's it's me it's my opinion it's my taste so when we go out into the workforce and and live life then that gives us an opportunity not to be the puppet of our conditioning but to really recognize who we are to reflect to understand why we do what we do and it therefore gives us an opportunity to change to 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 really do a a reflection on what actually we like or don't like or want to be or don't want to be but for us to be able to do that we first need to know that we are a bundle of conditioning beings very few of us have been taught to think for ourselves we have been told don't do this do that this will happen or that will happen and and that's how we become and sometimes if we're not careful and we become parents ourselves we'll do the same to our children don't go here don't do that this is going to happen that is going to happen so our thinking is molded in a particular way so are we really free have we got the freedom have we ever had the freedom or we've just been molded in a particular way to be then we have this issue of how resilient we are as individuals and we and whether we've been taught to be resilient or have we been taught to be dependent on others and always be fearful about things have we had the independence to go out there and just be to learn to cope with whatever life throws our way and life does throw many balls our way and if we don't know how to kick them then we become the puppet of 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 being hit by those balls and not knowing how to get up and not knowing how to cope this unfortunately becomes the reason for why depression arises mental issue arises anxiety arises 
because we get so caught up in, in being fearful, in not knowing. And part of the reason for this is also social media, the amount of information that we have. We, uh, for young people, we are told that uh, right from the beginning, there's this huge burden being put on our youth today where they've been told that they have to worry about the environment, that this is going to happen or that's going to happen. There's the student loan that they have, they have a mortgage to start off with, um, even before they've gone out to work. They have this burden of, if they're not in a fortunate position of having parents that will pay for it, they have the student loan that they, that they are inheriting because education is not free. Then there's the responsibility of buying a house and that can be very expensive. Then there's something or the other all the time. There's this expectation of how to be, what to be, what society expects of you. It's very stressful for a young mind to have that kind of burden being put on oneself. Imagine a society where you lived off the land, you fished, that was your food, you played. You didn't have to worry about all these fancy clothes, branded things, you didn't have to worry about any of this. There was no opinion as such as to what you had to become. You just had to learn how to survive. Imagine the free freedom of the mind. There was no pressure. There was no expectation. There was no social media photograph of a friend who looked as if that friend was very happy because they were, um, the photograph showed that they, you know, looked very happy because there was all the connotations of happiness in that photograph. And then you look at that and you start feeling inferior. You start feeling as if you should be like that. And the fact that you're not like that, there's something wrong with you. So these are the stressors that are being put. And then as an adult, you go out to work and you don't earn as much as your friends or you don't do what they're doing because you're watching social media, because you're watching Facebook. Somebody's gone on a trip, you can't afford it. That becomes a reason for a stressor. And it just goes on and on and on because we are put in an environment where there's all these unnecessary pressures or expectations of how we need to be. And part of it starts from that very early times of conditioning of how, what is expected of you how you need to be. At the end of the day, does it really matter? Well, it depends. For some it does. And when it does, then it becomes a problem. For others, it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then it's not a problem. Then those issues don't arise. So it's very, very becomes, then therefore it becomes imperative that we look and understand where all this is coming from, where we are, where we're going. And it all comes back again to that mind, to that thought that is problematic and can lead you down a trajectory that is not for your benefit. Change your trajectory. How do you change it all? How do you change your conditioning? Well, the first thing to do is to recognize what these conditionings are. And once you've recognized it, then you decide for yourself whether it's something that you still agree with. If not, change it. You have that freedom. You have the freedom of choice. So make it happen. Control. Take back what is rightfully yours. 
that has been stolen from you without you knowing it. You didn't know that you were a puppet of these conditionings. But if you do know and you don't like it, then you've got the ability and the freedom to change it. Thank you for listening to the Indian Newsling podcast series Coffee with Kamil by Kamil Lakshman. 